Okay, now a very important thing we have is the concept of and and or. Say uh, we have a case, uh, I need to pick up um, two letters. So, uh, out of the 26 letters. So, suppose I say uh, I need to pick up two letters out of 26. So, I could say I need the first one as a consonant and the second one as a vowel and the second one as a vowel. So, in that case what do we have? We could have and. So, it is simultaneously occurring. So, so we have one of them. So, it will be 21 P1 or selecting them and arranging into. So, when you say and you this is happening simultaneously you have also the next one is 5p1. So both these are occurring together in such a case we have to multiply. On the contrary if you say or then we need to add. That means it could both of them. Suppose I say uh, I need to pick up two letters. Either both of them could be consonants or both of them could be vowels. So in that case if both of them are consonants you are picking up as 21p2. Or, so in that case, it will be either this possibility or 5p2, the same case. So, understand the difference here. One letter has to be of one kind and the other has to be. So, both these occur simultaneously. Hence, you multiply. Whereas here, you are telling both the letters could be consonants or both the letters could be vowels. In that case, we have. So, whenever we have a situation wherein the situation is translated as either of the two options then we say two or three options we say or and a situation where two or three situations occur simultaneously then we use the word and and then the operation involved is multiply in case of or the binary operation involved is and this is a very important rule of counting that is required that to be used off and on so we have an example here in how many ways bengal can be arranged with three and four letters. So, if you have to arrange Bengal in three and four letters, so accordingly here you have to multiply the number of ways when it can be arranged with three letters and also into the number of ways it can be arranged in four letters. Yes, so that is going to be 6P3 into 6P4. That means 6P3, you have to pick up 3 out of 6 or and you are picking up 4 out of 6. So, it is going to be 3 and 4 letters. The same thing in how many ways Bengal can be arranged with 3 or 4 letters. So, either you are picking up 3 out of 6. So, that is going to be 6P3 or so it is going to be or you are picking up 4 out of 6. So, it is going to be 6P4. Both do not occur simultaneously unlike the previous example. So, or hence it is going to be translated as plus. So, we have this option. This option is the total number of permutations are this and this. Right? Okay. So, that is as we said 6P3 plus 6P4.